Today we're going to talk about the three most common reasons that IVF cycles are cancelled. Hi, I'm Dr. Tal Jacobson. I'm a fertility specialist at Queensland Fertility Group. If you're about to go undergo an IVF cycle, you may have heard about IVF cycles being cancelled. We're just going to discuss the three most common reasons that this occurs today. The first reason is poor response to the fertility drugs that are given for the IVF cycle. We usually give you drugs to inject on a daily basis which stimulate the follicles in the eggs to develop and mature so that we can collect them through an IVF cycle. Sometimes there are very few eggs or they don't develop well and this may be due to the dose of the drugs or the response of the ovaries. On these occasions you will be monitored with blood tests and ultrasound scans but if there are insufficient eggs that are likely to be collected, your specialist may recommend cancelling the cycle. Don't despair. Everything will be reviewed and the cycle may be changed with a change in the drugs or change in the doses or the timings to try and improve the response next time. The second possibility is overdevelopment of follicles. We call this ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. It's a condition where the ovaries over-respond, they become very enlarged and can cause pain and excessive fluid to develop inside the abdomen. It's not particularly common these days because of changes in the IVF cycles, and so these days we see it less than 5% of the time, and it is rare to need to cancel a cycle. Sometimes the eggs can still be collected and embryos can be created, but they'll be frozen if you have ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, because if you do become pregnant in that cycle, it can become worse. I do want to reassure you that at Queensland Fertility Group, your cycle will be very carefully monitored, and if ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome is identified, it'll be very carefully managed. The third and final reason for cancelling a cycle is forgetting to take the trigger injection. Just before the egg pickup, usually about 37 hours prior, you'll be given a medication to take, which will mature the eggs. If this is forgotten or taken at the incorrect time, it can mean that no eggs are identified at the time of the egg collection. It is very important if you forget this or the timing was incorrect that you do let your fertility specialist know and they can work out how to manage it and what to do next time. Thank you for watching. Here at Queensland Fertility Group, we're very happy to see you at any time to assess your circumstances and help you on your fertility journey. Please feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Take care and thanks for watching.